Hey everybody, this is Stephen Alec of The Cage, and I am here today to teach you how to convert Canon XF100 footage to Apple ProRes 422 codec for use in Final Cut Pro. So basically what I just said is that uh, the Canon XF100 shoots a very complex codec called an MXF and it can't be used uh, in Final Cut unless it's transcoded. Now it's a fantastic camera and it's great, but it's a little bit complicated, so this tutorial is going to show you how to do that using uh, Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, now, uh, Avid and Adobe Premiere have no problems handling this codec. In fact, they do it beautifully. Uh, but Final Cut Pro can't even open up MXF files. Uh, it won't even import them. So you're going to have to transcode them uh, if you want to use it in Final Cut Pro 9 or lower. Uh, my understanding is that Final Cut 10 handles the Canon XF100 files uh, pretty well, but uh, Final Cut 10 is a joke. Seriously, it's just it's ridiculous. Um, so you're going to have to transcode it. Um, now, Apple ProRes 422 is Final Cut's native codec. So Basically, if it's in there, you can cut it, you can move it around, you won't have to um, render it, you know, you won't, you, won't, you won't have to do anything with it. It's perfect as it is, and it's faster to render out. Um, the only problem with it is that it's going to make the clip that you have shot much bigger, because it's going to have to, um, you know, undo all of, the, uh, all of the compression. So, plan on a lot more storage space. Or Apple ProRes 422 about about three to four times um, as much. Now you can avoid doing all of this just by using Premiere. I'm just just saying that. Anyway, um, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, is, I'm just going to close everything else and make sure you've closed all your pictures of Ryan Gosling, just because. I mean that's that's just going to distract you. What's he looking at? That's awesome. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the Apple Media, or the Adobe Media Encoder, which you can find right here in the, the Finder. So we're going to open that up. I already have it open. Um, and it's basically going to give you the option to add items here. And you're going to want to add your XF100 files. Now your XF100, I've shot something over here on the Canon XF100. And um, when you open that, it'll give you, like, content. And then, it, as you can see, it breaks the clips into four different files. Um, it's very complicated, plus an index, MIF. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to hit this guy right here, like that, and that's going to give us the option to import. So we're going to go to our desktop. Go to our Canon XF 100 contents clips A100 and see it can import our MX 100 here. I can hit that and then boom, it brings it up in our queue. Now it automatically wants to transcode it to an F4V. We're not going to do that because F4Vs are dumb. We're going to, in the format, we're going to go to QuickTime. Take a little time there. Now it's going to put it into an N as NTSC DV24P automatically, but we're okay. We're just going to let it do that. Okay, that's good. Now, oh, portfolio. Now we can save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it back to um, the desktop, and we'll call it Spider. It's a it's a thing of a spider I took. Saves. All right, and now that's so here we're going to click on this, the NTSC DV, and we see that I shot a picture of a spider because it was outside on the window, and, and I think that's I think that's pretty neat. It's like a it's like Spider Man. Spider Man was a spider. Um, now a preset is this NTSC NTSC DV, which actually works in Apple ProRes, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to video codec, click that, and go to 
example ProRes 422, like that. Okay, so that's good. We're going to go to basic video settings, quality 100% because you always want everything to look good. And with this, I'm actually just going to go, I'm going to go full high def. I'm going to go 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go full high def. All right, now our frame rate is going to be 23.976. And then we're going to change that to 24 here. All right. And for aspect ratio, we're going to go with square pixels. And as you can see, it's going to go to this full screen here. It's also a much larger image than what you saw before because it's decompressing it. All right. So now we've got that going. We're going to hit OK. And so this is all set to go. We're just going to click this button here. And... Is this file in Apple ProRes 422? So just to test that out, I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to open up Final Cut. Final Cut Pro, and open that up. So, uh, how about those hawks, huh? Right? No, don't, don't hang this my contacts. Okay. This guy. Yeah, we'll keep it as is. DVA and TSE, that's good. Scratch disk. Okay. Continue. I'm just going to go ahead and set the scratch disk here. Alright. Now, all we got to do is hit import files. Go to desktop and spider.mob. You choose and look, it's all ready to go. You can just drag and drop. There it goes. No problems. All right. So that's how you transcode footage from the XF100 for Final Cut Pro.